No acoustic panels. And this is what it sounds like with the sound panels up. Hey friends, my name is Jeff Heath. Thanks so much for watching. And today we are going to be talking about soundproofing your studio, be that for a podcast, music recording, or building a YouTube studio. When I first moved into this place, it was a big, essentially concrete room and it had tons of noise, things bouncing off the walls as I talked. And as I talked to some friends, they said, you need to put some acoustic panels in there. So I started looking online, you know, there's tons of different things you can get from essentially foam that mounts to your walls to $500 a piece acoustic panels. So I decided I'm just gonna make my own and that's what I did. So things that you will need in order to build these acoustic panels is you'll need one by four pine. You'll need some rock wool safe and sound or a high rated insulation to put inside. Uh, you'll need some fabric, you'll need some screws or some staples, a drill, you'll need a stud finder, a C hooks, a chain, uh, and anything to mount things to the wall if you're gonna do that as well. So it's a simple uh, screws into the wall. The first thing I did was I built out the frame. The rock wool was four foot by two foot. So I essentially just cut my frame to that size, just making it a little bit smaller and actually being 23 inches by 48 inches and the rock will fit perf perfectly in there. I stapled it all together because I wasn't gonna be moving it around a whole lot. I know a lot of people are gonna say you need to put screws in there to make it more stable. But with wrapping it with the fabric and putting this little cross brace across, I didn't think it was gonna be a big deal. So built the frames two by four, put a little cross brace across the middle. Then I put the rock wool in and then I just grabbed some fabric. I ended up buying some fabric from a local store here and then realized I've got old bed sheets. Those will work great. I ended up taking one bed sheet and some fabric that I bought and wrapping five different panels, which I mounted three to the ceiling, two to the walls. So once again, built out the frame, cross brace across the middle, stapled it all together, put the rock wool inside, put the fabric around that, and then I mounted things with uh, C hooks and chains to the ceiling. And then I also mounted things to the back of the wall here as well, uh, just with screws into the walls. I use stud finders to put the C-hooks into studs, so these things, they're not very heavy, but at the same time, you always wanna put things into studs if you can. So mounted those two studs, hooked them up with chains, mounted things to the wall, and the difference here is incredible. So let's go back to the room now before I had the sound panels. This is what it sounded like. Okay, this is a room test with no sound dampening, no acoustic panels put in. This is me talking, so I'm just going to say the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And a little clap test. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Once again, the old way. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And this is what it sounds like now. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. Thank you. You're welcome. So a few notes about the spaces I've been using. I've mounted things to the walls. So there's two sound panels right behind me here. There's three sound panels right above me. And when you mount them, you always want to leave uh, an air gap between the wall or the ceiling and the sound panel. Uh, a minimum of two inches, uh, a maximum of the width of your panel. So if your panel is a one by four, so four inches, three and a half inches, away from the wall or the ceiling. That allows the sound to bounce into it, around it and bounce into it. Sound is absorbed into these panels and it captures the sound inside of them and doesn't allow it to reverberate and bounce off the walls back at you, which causes that echo sound. Super short video, hope it was informative. There's lots of videos out there on how to make different size panels, make cool looking panels. How about using Amazon panels? I love making things for myself, so this is what worked for me. Again, I built five panels in this small space. It's about 10 by 10 space here. Five panels was great for me. It made a huge difference. Hope this is informative. Would love for you to hit that subscribe button, hit that dingling notification bell to know when a new video drops. Thanks so much. I'm Jeff Heath. We'll catch you later. Subscribe and... I'm gonna make some more videos. And if you don't subscribe, I'm gonna... Tell you. Um, so uh, I didn't mean to say I'm gonna kill you. I just meant I'm not gonna make any more videos.